welcome to part two of how to develop a Modix website step by step. Uh, in this part, I would like to uh, download the code of our free theme outline, uh, which is available here at freehtml5.co. Uh, and I would like to install Modix and explain a bit where you can install it, what are the options to develop. There are many options, of course, for this. Uh, and ModX is, uh, of course, a free uh, CMS that we will be using to develop our website. So this is part two of a video tutorial series on uh, the Any Screen Size blog. Uh, part two was the short introduction where I show you the theme we're going to build inside ModX. So in this part, the first step is, of course, get our code. So go to freehtml5.co or Google outline HTML5 template. And here you can see it, it's a very nice website with a very nice free theme. So it's really good. Try to support them, follow them on Twitter. Um, and you can just click on demo and free download. And once it opens, uh, you can click here on free download and it will send you there. So you get a nice preview and then you click on download here. And it should provide it, yeah. So while that is downloading, I'll start talking uh, about the way we're gonna work. Um, I like to work on my projects on a development environment. So you can either do that locally on your own computer uh, or online somewhere. Uh, online can be useful if you're working with the client directly and they are adding content while you are designing, for instance or you're working in a team, then of course it can be very useful to have a system online where people work together. Uh, if I'm working solo, I would prefer to have it uh, locally hosted on my own system because you don't need to connect to a database, uh, to an online server, and so it's a bit faster. Um, if you want to do it locally, uh, I use Windows, so and then I really like WAMP server, which you can uh, download here at wampserver.com and it will, if you start it, it up, you basically you get a PHP a host and a development environment where you can run ModX from. So that's a good one. If you're using uh, Linux or, uh, or Apple uh, or Windows as well, uh, XAMPP is also a very good alternative. Uh, they both work great. Um, I don't really have a specific reason why I prefer WAMP. I just, that's the one I started using long ago and I know it. Uh, both are great, both work very, very well. So those, those are good, uh, two good options. Um, if you want to work online, uh, there are several options. Of course, you can just host your website on your own server or, your, or on your own uh, hosting company. Most companies that sh should just be able to run uh, ModX. Uh, but there are a few preferences for me. Um, first is ModX Cloud, which is very, very nice. Uh, it's, it's from the ModX people themselves, of course. It's a very powerful hosting for a ModX Cloud. It's, it's, uh, it does cost some money, but it's, what you can do is you can just spin up websites very quickly. You can create snapshots, which are just basically uh, an active copy of the whole website. So you can make a certain type of website, copy it as a backup or as a, as a starting point for other projects. Um, or you can send copies to clients that they can back it up, back up or, or all kinds of stuff. It's very, very, very powerful. Uh, I highly recommend it if you, uh, if you do a lot of ModX projects and you're just not very comfortable with hosting stuff and uh, you don't, don't want to deal with databases and all kind of complicated stuff, then this is just, yeah, very, very good. You can back up stuff with just one click. Um, yeah, so modxcloud.com, highly recommended. Uh, what I personally use uh, as a company, we use SkyToaster. Uh, they're a hosting company from the US. They're partner with ModX as well, and they provide virtual private servers, which we have. They also provide regular hosting, which is great if you just have small projects. They're I highly recommend SkyToaster, they're very good. Uh, we as, as any screen size has uh, have a virtual private server, both in the Netherlands and in the US. And this al allows us to have complete control over our own system, which I prefer. Uh, so I'll, I'll show you where I'm gonna install. I'm gonna install our project on a subdomain on anyscreensize.com going to work from there um, so yeah hi sky toaster they're, they're very uh, very well priced they're very powerful they're no mod X they're very 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 good highly 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 recommend them so that's what we're gonna do uh, so we downloaded the, the outline file 
So here it is. And I'm just gonna copy it. I'm gonna go to my website folder where I keep my project. And I'm gonna add a folder called outline. And here I will keep the files for, for our project. So I'm at first just gonna put the zip file here and leave it there for the moment. And next I'll be installing ModX on our system. And in this case on my SkyToaster hosting. I already logged in on my cPanel for anyscreensize.com, which is my website. And what I want to do in this case, I like to develop this site on a subdomain. So I'm going to create a subdomain called outline.anyscreensize.com. In your case, it could just be a main domain, of course, your website.com or some local host. That depends, of course, on the case. But in this case, I'm going to just go to subdomains and I'm going to create a subdomain called out outline and I'm going to create it so now that I have my uh, subdomain outline.anyscreensize.com I'll go to my cPanel again uh, there are all kinds of automatic script installers and stuff uh, which are very useful and are fast but as a tutorial it might be easy to show you how you can just manually create a website or uh, install ModX or most systems. What we need for that is uh, the files of ModX inside the root of our domain. And we need a database. So let's first create a database. So I'm gonna click here, my, Q my, my SQL database, and I'm gonna call it outline. So I get appended this, any screen uh, underscore. So I'm gonna create that one, create database. copy it. Next we need uh, a user. I'm going to call it the same outline and I'm going to create a password. You should not show this one of course. Make it a safe password. Uh, I'm going to create a user and now that we have a user we need to attach the user to the password, to the, to the database. So I'm going to select outline and I'm going to select the user outline and I'm going to add it and now I'm going to say which privileges it should have it should have all of them that's just easiest uh, for specific use cases and security you could have limited users of course but in this case I'm going to have it so now we have a, a, a database called any screen outline and a user any screen outline so that is a way to connect it to the system so we have a database I'm going to click home again I'm going to go to my file manager and you can see here there's a new folder here called outline any screen size.com that's the subdomain I just created so I'm going to double click it and there's nothing in here because I just created it so now we're going to need to download the latest version of modx and upload it to this directory so let's go to modx.com to downloads revolution and get the traditional the full version and it should download in a few seconds yeah so it's downloading and once it's done when it's done I'm gonna open the download folder I'm going to I you like to do this I unzip everything because uh, it contains a subfolder and I I don't like that I want to put all the files in the root of the site uh, some people move it it depends where you want it that's a per personal preference I guess so I unzip everything and I'll just wait a second to finish click on it and I create a new zip file inside so in this one just has the files in it without the folder. Now I'm going to go to my folder for my project outline and I'm going to move them there. So now I have a zip file with the modex system right here. Um, I'm going to go to my file explorer and just say upload. So I'm going to upload the f files for modex so I can just drag it in here. So I'm going to grab the zip file with modex and just drag it in there and it will upload the files. 
So as you can see, the upload is complete. We have a zip file with our modx files now. You can go to this file explorer. You might need to reload. And there are the files. So now I can right click on it and say extract. This is cPanel, by the way. You could have a different system, of course. Um, and you can just extract all the files in the root of your new website. And there they are. At this point, you can remove the zip file probably. So let's delete that one. So now we have our modx files in the root of our system. We created the database and we created a database user that was connected to the database with full rights. So now that we have all that, um, we can go to the front end, to the domain. I created outline.anyscreensize.com and if you go there you get an error because the system is not installed. So what you do is you dash setup and there you get the installation screen for ModX. At least you should. So you can choose your language, I'm going to keep it English. And there you can just go through the installation program. Keep these default in general. Um, so uh, for me, this is localhost, and then I need to find the database. So that was, uh, mine was outline, any screen underscore outline. That was my uh, login name, my password. I'm going to enter it. And the database name is the same as the username for me. So please, these are the fields we selected previously when we created the database. Now you can test it. It works. It automatically fills in the character set and the co collation. If you don't, if this is wrong, then you should adjust it. Uh, and then you can uh, connect to it and you need to create a default admin. So I'm going to enter my name, my email and a password, of course. This is your password to log into the ModX system as the administrator. You click next, you get an overview. It does some checks to see everything is okay. If there are any errors here, you can always Google it and find on the forums for ModX some help. But on most systems, this will just be fine. Uh, and then install. And it installed. And then you can log in. So now we have a functional ModX system. This is the login screen. As you can see, it's under manager. And it's outline.anyscreensize.com dash manager. And now I'm just gonna log in and enter my password. So we have a nice fresh system ModX. Thanks you for install installing. You can look around here if you want. And if you click on preview site, you see there's the default screen. This is the new default template ModX provides. So that's it. We installed ModX on a server using manual installation with creating our own folder, moving the files, creating a database. I hope it wasn't too hard and you found it useful. Uh, in the next part of this series, we're gonna look at the template, outline template itself. We look at the code and we're gonna do some basic setup of the system prepare the first things to create our system. See you next time.